guys, so on today's episode we're heading to Glen Patrick. Just me and Thurston, uh, GU and my 80, and a couple of mates. We're just gonna do some exploring. I've been out there once before. It was interesting place, lots of old ruins, lots of tracks, steep rock climb, stuff like that. So hopefully we can get some good footage for you. So it'll be good to get back out there and have a bit of a bit of a play. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And yeah, remember to subscribe and like the video. Alright guys, so we've made it to Glen Patrick Reserve. Check this out. Little little hut here. Just gotta book it online. There's an old bloke that runs it. Just gotta give him a donation and you get the place to yourself virtually. It's got the fire going. The ADY. Let's have a look over here. So this place would fit quite a few people. I think it'd get busy in summer and stuff. There is rivers, but they're all dried up. They don't usually have water in them. Got another little cool hut here. Not many, I don't think many people know about this area. It's sort of hidden away. Like me and a mate, when we first started getting a four wheel driving, we just sort of, oh, Glen Patrick. Everyone knows Mount Cole. It's opposite Mount Cole. It's on the other side of the, the highway. But um, I, I think a lot of people don't really know about Glen Patrick Avoca. You know, the tracks are pretty wild out here, but there is some, some medium stuff as well, which I'll be probably doing. I'm not gonna just destroy my car. I've spent too much money on it for that. I'll definitely hit up some of the more medium to hard tracks. Anyway, it's um, just about time for, I'll just crack this can, get this fire stoked and wait for the others to get here, eh? I do with humble. Ten down. Shine your wheel up, go left a bit.
winch fellas, I reckon. You're definitely... Where's the winch spot? Yeah, he's moving. Very Tell him to keep his wheels straight. He's going out there. No, he's doing alright now. Our recovery expert, Mac Dalton. Well, how's that one for a first track, Jagos? Every track was uh, meant to be a blue run on new tracks, but it was uh, definitely packed the punch. It was winches, both cars. Another unnamed track next. Blue run, apparently, so we'll check that out. Yeah, look, I think these tracks out here, new tracks, I think some of you guys need to come out here and drive them. Give them a bit more review, get them a bit more accurate for us. That was like a reefed and logging track. If any of you out there have done reefed and logging track, you'll know exactly what we mean. Especially on a day out today where it's a bit moist out there. You had oh. a couple of slips. Ariats especially. <laughs> They're great durable shoes. No traction available whatsoever. It's like having highway terrains out on the tracks. The HDT is good, but it's got nothing on the uh, on the barra as far as throwing you back in the seat though. In this the problem is, I find if you tune a rig up like that, you're just a lot more prone to breaking things. You just want to find that fine line in the middle where you have enough power to get the job done, but you're not too powerful that you're just snapping bits of your drive line, block, popping diffs, snapping axles, CVs every time you, you go out for on a track. Did you see a track on the left anywhere there? Oh, it might have been on the right. Um, I can see it up ahead of like a road, but not a track now. A bit of trouble finding the tracks, are we? Yeah. Are you puffy dogs? Wrecked our lunch of champions. This stuff. Hi, my name's Terry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got the first one. Be quicker than that, sunshine! Ooh. Whoa!
track are we on now, Jagos? We are on Hardy Track. Grabbing four low. Let's see what this one has to offer. It's been an interesting one out at Glen Patrick so far. Hold to all very quickly. Just straight into it. Jackson Track put on quite a show. Definitely, this place is definitely worth to another visit. <laughs> Click the link below. <laughs> like and subscribe. That's the way. little hut we just came across. Stealthy, Con. That's a nice hut. Look at the little Having fun? Yeah. The tracks have been pretty good, I reckon. Yeah. It just goes from mile to mile very quickly. <laughs> like one minute you think, oh, it's a cruisy track, and then all of a sudden you're nearly rolling your car. Yeah. <laughs> How are they looking, mate? Yeah, rotate them. It's a flat. It's on 10 Patrick track next, red run on new track, so we'll see what that has to offer. Looks pretty steep, so we'll see how we go down that. Last track of the day, Glen Patrick's been good fun. <laughs> Straight, straight, straight. Yeah. You're fine. Days. Just stop on that flat spot there. Good drive. Move forward a bit. Yeah, pretty easy, man. Put a missing line. No, you just make everything look easy. <laughs> The chicken track looked honestly worse because it's not a well-formed track. No. There's more chance of doing damage there. As soon as you hit the loose leaves in the grass. Yeah, you're going wherever. And that doesn't matter. At right least here, I, either way, I fell in a rut yeah. off the side of a cliff. And, it, and if you fall off there, if you start to lose it there, you roll it. Glen Patrick is really turning it on with a rock step like this. Like I said to Thurston, getting to the step to here is easy. After it, you're in the ruts and home free. It's just doing the step. You're not going to roll. The worst that's going to happen, it's going to put you pointing straight to the ground like you're at gunshot. You're going to shit bricks going down, and I know it. North Glen Patrick turning it up. Bit of a rock step here. We'll see how the GU goes. We've had a good look at this in the uh, 
the chicken track's not much better, so I reckon the best option is to stick to the main track and see how we go. An angle to spot in from. We got one car down. Someone's created a chicken track down the side, but that looks even scarier, especially trying to get on it at the start. It tips you on a bad angle. What's gonna happen now is that front driver's gonna drop in right there and he's gonna ship bricks. He's not even on it. As soon as his driver's wheel goes over that edge, I'm wanting to get him over that side. So when his driver's gets drops down, he can swing around and it'll give him a bit of confidence. Pretty good. He's pretty good. That way, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, keep going as you are. Let's straighten up. Straighten up. Straighten up. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get down. Yeah, and keep going in the ruts until you're here, and then go passenger. He's on highways too. Oh. Straighten up, straighten up, go that way, go that way. There goes the front. He's almost lifting the back. Oh, it's certainly dirt. No! Straight, straight, straight. Uh, right hand down, that's it, perfect. All right, you're going over now. What a track. What a track. Perfect end to the day. Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks, mate. Patrick North. <laughs>